Could someone please help me with this question and explain why it's wrong slash show me how to do it? I cannot for the life of me figure out why it's negative 1. Okay, let's have a look. First, we're given the graph for g of x. And this is the only portion that we care, so that's what I have on the board. And we have to find out the limit as x approaching 0. g of h of x, and the h of x is 3 minus x squared. So firstly, this is the trap of this question. So if we take the limit as x approaching 0 of g of h of x, so it looks like we can just plug in 0 into here, right? So I'm just going to kind of go like this, and then so say, hey, that's h of 0. Now, h of 0, we can work that out real quick. h of 0 is just 3 minus 0 squared, which is 3. So it looks like we're trying to get g of 3. But remember, we're taking a limit. So maybe it's like the limit as x approaching 3 like this. And then we get the input like so, right? Kind of. And maybe I, yeah, I'll keep that. Maybe I'll write this back as x. Okay. So first thing, remember we're doing the limit. That's good. So the answer is not 4. Because that's the value of the function at x equals exactly 3. If you're talking about a limit, if you have x approaching 3 like this, you do both directions. But I told you this is the trap. Right here, you will have to check the limit as x approaching 3 from the left-hand side, and then the limit as x approaching 3 from the right-hand side. When we go to 3 from the left-hand side, coming like this, you can see that the y value is approaching negative 1. When you go from the right-hand side like this, you can see that the y value is approaching 1. But you see, they are not equal, so this limit shouldn't exist. You just put on D and E. But as I said, this is a trap for this question. This is not the correct answer. And I think the AP test nowadays, they like to ask this kind of questions. It's like a tricky question, especially when you have a function composition and uh, this kind of function here. So be careful with this kind of questions on your AP test or so. Now let's talk about why this is wrong. The mistake was, when x is approaching 0, do not plug in exactly 0 into the h function, because when we have a limit as x approaching some number, make sure you do both directions, the positive and also the negative. So let me just write it like this. If you have x approaching 0 from the positive direction, what we are going to get is, plugging 0 plus into here, we get 3, minus 0 plus and then square. Now, 0 plus is just a number that's a little bit bigger than 0. When you square that, it's still a number that's a little bit bigger than 0. So this is approaching 3 minus 0 plus. 3 minus 0 is 3. But 3 minus 0 plus, it's going to be a number that's a little bit less than 3. Just think about this as 0 0.001. 3 minus 0 0.001, we get 2.999. So we shall be ending up with 3 minus. Now, if we have x approaching 0 minus, we still get, we are looking at the h function, 3 minus 0 minus square. 0 minus is like negative 0 0.001. When you square that, it becomes positive 0 0.001. So this right here turns out to be 3 minus this will still give you 0 plus. Same thing right like this, right? So we still end up with 3 minus. So what we need to do is really, once you have this into the h function here, we will really have to do the limit as x approaching just 3 minus right so this question here we only need to work out this part and uh, all we have to do now is just look at the g function and this is all we need as x approaching through from the left hand side of the g function like this negative one that's why the answer is 
negative 1. We would really have to do the limit The the limit 